Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about one of the major operations that is available with Delta table is called merge. Now, before we start with this, if you have not seen our previous video, I would recommend you to go back and watch our playlist. Now, merge is also known as upsert in some of the basic terms. Upsert means either update or insert. Now, it is also known as SCD1 in data warehousing terms. Okay. So, what exactly is this merge operation? So, consider if you have two tables where one of the table is target table, in our case it is EMP and one of the table is a source table, consider we have EMP updates. Now, based on the key which is matching between this EMP and the EMP updates, which is the target and the source table, based on the key, you can take some decisions or do some operations on the target table, which is the EMP. So, consider you have a matching key between the target table and the source table. In that case, you can go ahead and update the data, right? Because the keys are matching. It means whatever the data is coming in this updates are already present in the target. It means you can go ahead and update the data at the target side. Now, consider you have some extra keys at the source side, which are not present in the target side. It means those are new data. So what you're going to do, you're going to insert the data in the target table. So this is why it is known as upset. It means if the keys are matching, then update the data at the target side. But if the keys are not matching, then insert the new data at the target side, right? But merge comes with one more operation in Delta table, which is the third condition. So consider you have some extra keys at the target side, which are not present at the source side. So you can go ahead and take some extra decisions on the target side. You can either go ahead and delete those data at the target side, or you can mark them as inactive. Now that we understand what exactly is the merge operation, let's go ahead and check that out with some examples. I am in my Databricks workspace. So I've already created a new notebook called Delta Tables Merge and the type of the notebook is SQL and I've already have my cluster up and running. Okay. So let me just go ahead and close this sidebar. Now that we have enough space, we are going to use the same employee table that we created in our previous session, which is already under catalog dev, schema bronze and EMP. So let me just expand it on the left side for you. So this is branch and this is the table. Okay. The first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and quickly see what is the data inside the EMP table. So I'll run this. Awesome. We can see we have around five records in our EMP table. We have employee ID, which is our unique key in this case, 1001 till 1005. Okay. Now we are going to create a new table called EMP updates. Now this table will contain the updates that we are going to do into the EMP table. Okay. The schema of the table is same that of EMP table. So we have EMP ID, EMP name, department and salary. And then after once we create our table, we are going to insert some records which are existing. Now if you see, these are the IDs which are already existing and we are updating the salary for this data in the EMP updates. Okay. So let me just go ahead and create the table and insert the updated data into this table. Awesome, but we have already inserted the updated data into the table. Let's go ahead and create a new data and insert it into the same table. Okay, so I'm going to create a new ID, which would be 1006 because that is not there. Okay, and that is for Rohan. He has a department ID of 103 and a salary of 10,000. Let me run this as well. Now that we have both our updated and the new data inside our EMP updates table, let's go ahead and check the complete data. So I'll run a select query on that table now. Nice. You can see we have around four records out of those three are records which are matching from the EMP table means these are the updates for the salary. And one of the record is a new record, which is for Rohan, which is 1006. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and write our merge query in order to update the existing salaries for the existing records and insert the new records, whichever are new. So in our case, 1006 is a new record and the rest of the three records, which are 1001, 2 and 4 will get updated with the new salary. Okay. So to write a merge query, you have to start with a term called merge. Okay. And then you have to give the name of the table, which is your target table. So in our case, dev dot branch dot emp is our target table and we'll alias it as e. Okay. Now we have to tell it which table we are going to use for merging. So we will use using and we will give the EMP updates table, which is dev branch EMP updates and we will alias it using u. Okay. Now we have to give the condition of the keys that we are going to use for this merge condition. Okay. So you can write on and with the alias condition 
which you can use e dot emp id which is our case and you can give u dot emp id now you can have conditions where you can have more than one keys for this condition right you can go ahead and use and for this and you can go ahead and write the on condition okay now that we know we have conditions that we can use to merge the data right so first condition let's write when matched it means when the employee id matches okay then what we need to do so i'll just keep it blank for now then the next condition would be when not matched okay then what we need to do so i'll keep it blank okay so we know that when the record matches we have to update it right so we'll write update and we will write and what we need to set we need to set emp dot salary equals to update table dot salary which would be the new salary right now in case the employee id does not match it means the new records would be inserted right so for this condition when not matched then we will write our insert statement okay now if you want to insert the whole record you can go ahead and put it would automatically insert all the records with the schema whatever is present but in case if you want to give the column names and the data you can use the column names like emp id and you can put all the columns and then you can use values and you can put the values like u dot emp id right so you can use this but since it is easier to put a star because we have the same schema from both the tables right so we are just going to use but if it is not the case then you have to go ahead and put the column names and the values okay so i'll just put a semicolon now and i'll quickly run this query awesome the query completed now if you see it already gives you the stats it says there are four total affected rows out of those three are the updated and one is an inserted row right let's go ahead and check our employee data now so i'll just type select star from dev dot branch dot emp okay so let me just run this awesome now if you see the new record is inserted and the old record which was 1001 the salary is updated so let's go ahead and check the salary that we computed in the beginning so if you see here the salary for 1001 was 10000 which is now updated to 15000 okay so now you understand how merge works with upsets now consider a case we want to delete records which are not matching so in our emp updates we have employee id is 1001 1002 4 and 6 but we do not have 1003 and 1005 so what if we want to delete those records from the employee table which are not matching from the source table we can go ahead and do that in order to do that i'll just copy this from top and i'll paste it here and i'll add one more condition which is when not matched by source then so it says if the key which is in the target table is not matching with the key at the source side it means the target has extra records you can do some operation so consider we want to delete it we'll just write delete okay so if i run this now it will go ahead and delete the records which are extra at the target side which is 1003 and 1005 okay so let me just go ahead and run this awesome now if you see it says deleted record is 2 so let me just run a select star from and i'll do it from dev dot branch dot emp okay so if i run this nice now if you see 1003 and 1005 are missing it means those records are now deleted now consider a case we don't want to delete those records rather we can add a new column and we soft delete those records it means we will add one column called is active and we will make them in whichever records are existing at the target side but not existing at the source side okay so we're not going to do hard delete rather we are going to do a soft delete using is active column so before we do that let me just go ahead and insert one more record in the emp side so that we can see that so i'll just copy one record from here and i'll just paste it here and I'll add 1003, which would be extra. So let me just make it Satish. Okay. And I'll change it to EMP. Okay. So let me just run this. 
nice one record inserted let me just go ahead and put a select star again nice if you see we added 1003 which is extra at the target side now which is not present at emp dates table right so what what we are going to do is we are going to add one column at the target side called is active okay to do that i'll write a alter statement and we are going to add column called is is active okay and we are going to mark this as string so let me just run this nice the column is added okay so let me just go ahead and do a select star again now if you see there is one more column is active okay and all the values are null okay this is the benefit of schema evolution with delta table so you don't have to rewrite all the data once you add a new column it would automatically take care of the schema evolution so the new column is added for all the existing records as well okay so now i will go ahead and copy the same merge statement that we have written previously so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here okay now this time we are not going to delete it rather we are going to update set e dot is active equals n okay so we're gonna mark that record as n it means it is not active anymore okay but since we have already added a new column at the target side both the tables does not match in scheme right so you cannot go ahead and write insert star name. you have to put the column names and the values now so let's do the column name and values so these are the column names and i'll add the values now okay now we are adding emp id column now we have the new column called is active so whatever new record which will be inserted should have by default yes as a value for is active right so we'll keep y as a value for is active now okay again we are gonna set the same thing for update so if a record is getting updated it means the record is update right so for that i'll write e dot is active is equals to y okay now that we are done let's go ahead and run this awesome now if you see all five records are updated nothing is deleted because we have removed the delete query rather we have put it as update set and the value as n okay let me just go ahead and do a select star awesome now if you see the is active column for satis which is 1003 is n okay and this is how you can soft delete a record from a table using merge statements and for all of the active records which are matching with the data that is coming from the source table it is marked as y okay so now we can go ahead and use this merge statement in order to insert new incremental data okay now if you want to add more conditions for example if you want to add a condition based on a date you can go ahead and add a new condition for example let's take e dot is active is equals to y it means it will check all the source data match it and also check this condition it means it will check if the record is not deleted then only it is going to delete it okay so if it is already deleted it is not going to do any operation on it okay so you can go ahead and add extra conditions as well along with merge i hope this clarifies a lot of things how you can use merge with delta tables in our next video we are going to see some more operations of delta tables such as deletion vectors Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.